Kuzangpo, welcome to Bhutan e-learning program. I'm Bishal Biswa, and I'm currently working in the Mota High Secondary School. Today, I'm going to present on the topic, Remainder and Factor Theorem. And this topic is intended for grades 11 and 12. Before I proceed with the topic, let me highlight the objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to state Remainder Theorem, apply Remainder Theorem, state Factor Theorem, apply Factor Theorem. Before I proceed with the main topic, let me ask you one question. If f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 7, find the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus 1. You can find the remainder by applying long division method. Now, here in this division, divisor I have x minus 1, dividend I have 2x squared minus 5x plus 7. Now, to apply long division method, first of all, you have to identify one number here. When you multiply with x, you're going to get 2x squared. Now, when you put 2x here, when you multiply 2x with x, you're going to get 2x squared. Now, this 2x will get multiplied to x minus 1. When I multiply 2x with x minus 1, you're going to get 2x squared minus 2x. Now, subtract these two terms from above two terms. When you subtract these two terms from above two terms, you're going to get 2x squared minus 2x squared will be equal to 0. Negative 5x, negative of negative 2x is negative 5x plus 2x will going to give you 0, negative 3. Now, carry this positive sign, positive 7 to down. You have negative 3x plus 7. Now, you proceed with division. Now, again, you identify one number here. When you multiply with x, you're going to get negative 3x. So you can have negative 3. Negative 3 multiply with x minus 1. You're going to get negative 3x plus 3. Now subtract these two terms from above two terms. You're going to get negative 3x minus negative 3. We're going to give you negative 3 plus negative 3x. This will be equal to 0. 7 minus positive 7. 7 minus 3 will be equal to 4. So here, the remainder is 4. Now, let us solve another question. The question is, find the value of function f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 7 at x equals to 1. Now, let me find the value of this function at x equals to 1. Now, in place of x, you have to substitute 1. So, when you do in, when you substitute 1 in place of x, you're going to get 2 1 whole square minus 5 times 1 plus 7. So you, when you simplify this, you're going to get 2 times 1 will be 2. Negative 5 times 1 will be negative 5 plus 7. Now, first you add 2 plus 7 will be equal to 9 minus 5. So 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. In Buddha question, you observe that you're getting 4. This fact can be stated as theorem, remainder theorem. And remainder theorem states that when a polynomial f of x of any degree is divided by a polynomial of degree 1, x minus a, the remainder is equal to f of a. At this point, you have to note that remainder theorem works only when a polynomial is divided by polynomial of degree 1. Now, let us solve this question applying remainder theorem. The question says, if f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 8, find remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 2. You have to find the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 2. According to the remainder theorem, remainder is given by f of a. Before you find the remainder, f of a, first of all, you have to know the value of a. To know the value of a, equate the divisor to 0. That is, let x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, you find the value of x 
by balancing this equation. So you have plus 2. So you have to you put minus 2 on both the sides. So you're going to get x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 minus 2. Now here in this side, you can cancel plus 2 and minus 2. When you cancel plus 2 and minus 2, x is isolated. Therefore, x is equal to negative 2. So in place of a, you can put negative 2. a is equal to negative 2. Now, according to the remainder theorem, remainder is given by f of a. That is equal to f of negative 2. Now, substitute the value of x negative 2 in the given function. So you're going to get f of negative 2 will be equal to negative 2 whole square minus 5 times negative 2 plus 8. Negative 2 whole square will be equal to 4. Negative 5 times negative 2 will be equal to 10 plus 8. So 4 plus 10 plus 8 is equal to 22. And this is our remainder. I hope you understood how to apply remainder theorem to find the remainder when a polynomial is divided by a linear function. Now to proceed far further, let's check whether 3 and 4 are factors of 27. Now to check 3 and 4 as a factor of 27, first of all, you have to divide 27 by 3. 3, 9 is 27. So subtract 27 minus 27 is equal to 0. So here the remainder is 0. Since the remainder is 0, 3 is a factor of 27. Now let me divide 27 by 4. 4, 6 is 24. Now let me subtract 24 from 27. I'm getting 3. So since the remainder is not equal to 0, 4 is not a factor of 27. Hence, this fact can be stated as theorem called factor theorem. Factor theorem states that x minus a is a factor of polynomial f of x if and only if f of a is equal to 0. That is, the remainder is equal to 0 when f of x is divided by x minus a. Well, students, factor theorem is applied to check whether a lean expression x minus a is a factor of given function f of x. Factor theorem can be applied to factorize a polynomial with degree 3 and above. Now, let's solve one question on factor theorem. Use factor theorem to determine whether x minus 1 is a factor of the function f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now, to check x minus 1 is a factor of the given function, you have to find the remainder. If x minus 1 is the factor of the function f of x, the remainder will be equal to 0 when the function f of x is divided by x minus 1. Now, to find the remainder, let me apply remainder theorem. According to remainder theorem, remainder is given by f of a. Before I find the remainder, let me find the value of a. To find the value of a, let x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now let me solve this equation and find the value of x. I have x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 plus 1. I balance this equation by putting plus 1 in both the side. So if you see left hand side, minus 1 plus 1 gets cancel. So, x will be equal to 1. That's the value of a. a is equal to 1. Now, apply the remainder theorem. Remainder is equal to f of a. That's equal to f of 1. Now, substitute the value of x equals to 1 in the given function. When you substitute the value of x equals to 1 in the given function, you're going to get f of 1 is equal to 2 1 cubed plus 5 times 1 square minus 3 times 1 minus 4. When you simplify this, you're going to get 2 plus 5 minus 3 minus 4. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. Negative 3, negative 4 
will be equal to negative 7. So 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. Since the remainder is 0, x minus 1 is the factor of the function f of x. I hope you understood this problem. Now, let's proceed with next question. Factorize x cubed minus 7x plus 6 using factor theorem. Now, to factorize this polynomial, this polynomial is of degree 3. If this was a quadratic equation, you can apply quadratic equation method to factorize the quadratic function. But here the expression is a polynomial with degree 3. This can be factorized using factor theorem. Now to apply the factor theorem, first of all, you have to find one of the factors by using trial and error method. Let f of x is equal to x cubed minus 7x plus 6. Now divide the function f of x by x minus 1 and check whether x minus 1 is the factor of the function. Now to divide, you can you apply remainder theorem. When I apply remainder theorem, remainder is equal to f of a, which will be equal to f of 1. When I substitute the value of x1 in the function, I'm going to get f of 1 will be equal to 1 cubed minus 7 times 1 plus 7. When I simplify this, I'm going to get 1 minus 7 plus 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 minus 7 will be equal to 0. Since the remainder is 0, x minus 1 is one of the factors of the given polynomial. Now, I got one of the factors. Since the degree of the function is 3, so there will be 3 factors. Now, I have to find two more factors. To find two more factors, divide the function by one of the factors that you found, that is x minus 1, using long division method. Now, I'm dividing x cubed minus 7x plus 6 by x minus 1, applying long division method. And I taught you how to apply long division method. Let me divide. Let us divide this. So when you multiply x square with x minus 1, you're going to get x cubed minus x square. Now let me subtract these terms, two terms, with the above two terms. You're going to get x cubed minus x cubed will be 0. But x square, that's one thing that you have to remember. Here you have x square. But in above expression, you don't have x square. So you have to consider 0x square. So 0x square minus of minus x square will be x square. So carry the 7x down. So you're going to get, when you carry this down, you're going to get x square minus 7x. Now, the degree of this one is higher than degree of the divisor. So you have to divide further. Again, when I put plus x here, plus x times x minus 1 will be equal to x square minus x. Now, subtract these two terms from above two terms. So, x square minus x square will be 0. 7x minus of negative x will be 7x plus x will be equal to negative 6. Carry positive 6 down and divide further to divide negative 6. Negative 6 times x minus 1 will be equal to minus 6x plus 6. Subtract these two terms from above two terms, you're going to get 0, 0. Now, since x minus 1 is the factor of the given function, therefore, the remainder is 0. Now, you take the question and factorize the question. If you check the question, question is quadratic equation, x square plus x minus 6. Now, you have to factorize this quadratic equation. To factorize this quadratic equation, since the coefficients are small, you can use sum and product method. Here in this case, the product is coefficient of x squared times the constant term, negative 6, and sum is coefficient of x, that's 1. The product is negative 6. Now, you factorize negative 6 into two numbers. So, when you use these two numbers, you're going to get sum. So, when I factor these two numbers, negative 6, I'm going to get 3 minus 2. 
3 minus 2 is 1. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So I am getting with these two numbers, I am getting both sum and product. Therefore, I am going to use these two numbers to factorize this quadratic function. x square plus 3x, I took this 3 and 3x minus I took this 2x. So, I am getting x square plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. Club first two terms and second two terms. From first two terms, you can take x common. From first two terms, you can take x common. And from second two terms, you can take negative 2 common. When you take this common, from first two terms, I am getting x multi whole multiplied to x plus 3 minus 2 whole multiplied to x plus 3. Again, from this two term, x plus 3 can be taken common. So, you are getting x plus 3 times x minus 2. Therefore, factors of the polynomial x cube minus 7 x plus 6 are x minus 1, x plus 3, x minus 2. Well, students, before I end my lesson, let me assign you some work. I have three questions for you. You can try these questions yourself. Before I end my lesson, let me recapitulate whatever we learned in this lesson. In this lesson, we learned statement of remainder theorem. To apply remainder theorem, statement of factor theorem, we learned to apply factor theorem. I hope you enjoyed my lesson like I did. Till then, stay home and stay safe. Thank you.